Okay, welcome back. We're now on Wednesday, May 20th, and uh, for my 7 eighths here, and we're on our distance learning 2.0, lesson 10 1 2. This whole thing is about surface area and volume, and you should be fairly familiar now with this. Obviously, surface area we should have down. Volume, um, we're going to talk a little bit about, but you should be okay. But now what we're going to do is kind of do a comparison and go, which one's better? Should I have this? Should I have that? And make sure that we're finding all the different pieces. Because remember, we added in circles um, and the area of a circle and circumference of a circle and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, which you might not have had before. So let's go. So the question is, when is your door not actually a door? When it's actually a jar. So even Keanu Reeves says, the door is a jar? Huh? Okay, so surface area and volume, we're on 1018. We're just doing this real simply. I'm not worried about um, all the little pieces of it. I want two things out of this. I want you to find the surface area and volume of this, and then I want you to find the surface area and volume of this one. And what we want to do is compare going, if I had to make this bag, is it going to cost me more and which one holds more? So if we were the manufacturer of the bag company, which one is better? So let's work on this. Okay, so this is going to be the cylinder over here, and this is going to be the rectangular prism over here. So let's work on the surface area first. So we're going to do the surface area of that one, which means I want to find all the pieces, all the pieces of the puzzle. Now it tells me that this is 40, and when you open it up, okay, it's 52 uh, long. So that means when I do all these four pieces right here, so you got to imagine them unfolding this thing. Okay, so from here to here to here to here, it'd be like folding it up. So this, these four pieces equal 52. So what I've got to figure out is if all of them equal 52, okay, and they're all the same and it's in a square, okay, what is each side? So we're going to do that first. So I'm going to take the 52, okay, which is all these four pieces, and I'm going to divide it by four. And I'm going to find out that each side is 13. So that side's 13, 13, 13, and 13. So now what I need to do then is figure out the, all the area of the whole thing. Well, they already have part of it set up. So this wrapped around piece, the center piece, is 52 times 40. So if you get on your calculators and do 52 times 40, you should get 2080 out of it. Now that's this piece right here. But now I also need to include this end and this end. So I need the area of that. So I'm going to take 13 times 13 which you should know off the top of your head. So 169. And we're going to, remember, we need two of them. I need this one and this one. So I need another 169. And I'm going to take these three pieces and add them together. So I've got 2080, 169, and 169. And that should give me the total surface area. Which, when you do your adding, you better come up with 2418 inches squared. So that's the surface area of that bag. So we found the end, the end, and then the rectangles all the way around. Now let's do the same thing for this, but here's the difference. The center part's the same. It's 40, and when we unfold it, it's going to be 52. So I'm still starting for surface area with 52 times 40, which equals 2080. But the difference is, is I've now got a circle and a circle. So I've got to figure out the circumference and I've got to be able to do the area of that thing. What I do know is that all the way around this, 
the circumference is 52. So the circumference is 52 all the way around. So I need to wor work that backwards to get me the radius. Okay, so I can figure out what the area of this is. Because if you remember, area is pi, 3.14, times r squared. I need the r. So let's use the circumference and let's back our way into that. And if you remember, circumference is 2 pi r. I already know circumference is 52. 2 times pi is 6.28 times r. I need the radius. So let's divide this by 6.28. So my radius is, so if I get on my calculator and do 52 times um, divided by 6.28, you should get approximately 8.28. So my radius here is about 8.28. So I'm going to plug that into here to get my other piece. So my area is going to be 3.14 times 8.28 squared. I'm going to get rid of this now so we have a little bit of room. Okay, so do get on your calculator, do 8.28 squared. Multiply it by 3.14. And you should get 430.56. Now we're going to take this, and we're going to take this, and we're going to add them together. So my surface area for the both of these is going to be, what is that, 2510.56. Trying to do it fast in my head. And it is inches, okay, squared. So if you notice, there's a little more surface area to the cylinder than this one. Which means when we're building this, the materials, it's going to be a little higher cost for this one than for this one up here. Okay, because we have this and we have that. Now the question I have is, do I want to spend the extra cost? Does it give me a lot more volume? So can I hold more in here than I can in here? Let's find out. Let's do the volume now. Okay, so draw a line here. Okay, so volume. So we need the area of the base multiplied by the height. So the area of the base multiplied by the height. So I have 13 times 13. That'll give me this base. And then multiply it by 40. So do 13 times 13 and then multiply it by 40 for me. And you should get 6,700, what was it? Uh, 60 inches cubed. So that's how much volume we get out of that one. Let's find the volume for this one now. So volume, I need the area of that. So remember that area is 3.14 times 8.28 squared. And then we got to multiply it by 40 the height. So this is my bottom. There's my height. Okay, so now you got to do 8.28 squared, multiply this, multiply by that. You should have gotten 8,610.94 inches cubed. So if we take a look at this, this has 6,700, almost 6,800, but this has 8,600. So there's a lot more volume in this one than that one. And for probably the little extra that I'm paying up here, I think it's worth it. So the, what does that also tell us? When we look at a bag, if you're ever buying a duffel bag, and you got one that's got round ends versus the square ends, but they're about the same size, you can put more in the round one. So pretty easy.
Okay, let's move on. Okay, so let's do the surface and the volume of this one. Okay, so I don't care which one you want to do first. I always find the volume easier. It tends to be a little extra step, so let's do that first. Okay, so volume equals, we need the area of the base. Because remember, there's a base and a base. So we've got to find the area of the circle and multiply it by the height. So we have 3.14 times, what's my radius? Yep, it's 5 squared. Diameter is 10, so radius is only 5. And then we've got to multiply that by 12, the height. So my volume equals... 942 centimeters cubed. Now for surface area, remember, I've got to find this one, the bottom one, and then this all the way around. So it takes a little bit more time. So surface area, let's find the area of the circle. So the area, we already know, we can find it here, so we have 3.14 times 5 squared, but I have 1, 2 of them, so I'm going to multiply by 2 as well. So you should have gotten 157. So that's for the bottom and for the top. Now I need the middle. Okay, so for the middle, I need circumference. So I've got to go over here and go circumference equals 2 times 3.14 times the radius, which is 5. So we should get approximately, circumference is approximately 31.4. So I need the circumference and then multiply that, so 31.4 times 12. which is 376.8. So we had the area of this, and then the area of that is right here. Then the area of this whole part, okay, all the way around is here. So my total surface area Let's add those two together, 0 0.8, 7 and 6 is 13, carry the 1 to 12, that's 13, carry the 1. So we have 533.8 centimeters squared. Questions? Okay. Now what I want you to do is, I want you to do this one. I want you to find me the surface area and volume of this cylinder. So you have 10 there, and you have a radius of 5. Okay, pause it. And we're back. So hopefully you went through and you found your volume and surface area. Let's see what you got. Okay, so for surface area, you should have done, we need two of those things. So we have 2 times pi times the radius squared. Okay, and then... Um, then we would add the 10 times the 31.4. So this is your first part. That's going to get you the top and the bottom. Then this part here gets you this middle part all the way around. So remember what we did for that. We found the circumference, and we multiplied it by 10. So the circumference of this was 31.4. We multiplied it by 10, and then you should have come up with 49,298 centimeters squared. And then for your volume, and I'll move this up for you. So for the volume, we had to get the area of the base and then multiply it by 10, the height. So area is 3.14 times 5 squared, and then multiply it by 10. And then we have 25 times 10 is 250. 250 times that is 785 centimeters cubed. 
So hopefully you're pretty good on that. I'm praying. Do well, and we'll see you next time.